If you're getting ready for your first trip to London, you're probably doing a lot of pre-planning. And if you're anything like me, that planning involves trying to figure out where to go shopping. This video will be the first of several that I will publish that will be a guide for where to go shopping in London. We're actually going to start with what I think are the easiest places to find in London for shopping. And then as we go through it, we'll get a little bit more advanced. Before you even get on the plane, make sure you download an app that will convert things like currency, clothing sizes, and shoe sizes. The easiest place for you to go shopping in London is one of the Westfield malls. Now, they take a little bit of time to get to. There's one located on the far east side of London in Stratford, and there's one on the far west side of London near White City. Both are super easy once you get off the tube, but it does take some time to get to the locations from central London. There are Westfield malls in America. I've been to the one in Sarasota. I can equate them to three malls I've been to in the US, which are the Mall at Millennia in Orlando, the Galleria in White Plains, which is in Westchester, New York, and the Beverly Center, which is in Beverly Hills, California. A second easy location to find is Harrods, which is just outside the Knightsbridge tube station. I wouldn't actually recommend shopping at Harrods because it's extremely luxurious and quite honestly, you're not even gonna find many British people shopping there. It is worth visiting just to see the food halls. Now we're gonna start looking at streets and neighborhoods. Probably the most popular would be Oxford Street. It's not really somewhere that I shop often. I would categorize the shopping on that street as touristy and kind of cheap. One of the most popular places on that street is Primark. However, you'll also find Selfridges, which maybe isn't quite as nice as Harrods, but definitely offers luxurious shopping and was founded by an American. Perpendicular to Oxford Street is Regent Street, and you'll find the intersection at Oxford Circus Tube Station. Heading south on Regent Street, you will find tons of British brands that are fabulous for shopping, as well as American brands that you'll recognize. A really amazing place to shop is Hamley's, and I will talk about that more in an upcoming video. A few streets away from Regent Street is Carnaby Street. Carnaby Street and its surrounding areas are excellent for finding edgy, fun things that you probably won't find anywhere else in London. Covent Garden is my favorite neighborhood in London and favorite place in the world. It offers really good shopping, but I saved it for last because it can be a very complicated area to get around if you're not from London and you don't have access to a map on your phone. A safe street to stay on in Covent Garden is Long Acre, but if you want to be more adventurous, you can head to Seven Dials. It is seven streets that meet at a roundabout intersection. If you're not sure where you're going, you can get lost very fast. However, there is very good shopping around the Seven Dials area. Those are the places, streets, and areas that I suggest you target for shopping in London if you've never been here before. A sneaky little tip is Carnaby Street and Seven Dials often have shopping parties. And if you go on their website ahead of time, you can download a shopping ticket that will give you big discounts in most of the stores in the area. Check my blog for maps of the areas that I mentioned and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos and will include a huge tip for Americans on how to save a lot of money while you're here in London. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you have any questions that you leave them in the comments below or send them to me on social media. Best of luck with your first trip to London.